Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, your girl is giving herself a makeover, a bit of a glow up for my upcoming trip to Vancouver. I really just need a bit of a boost. You know, I'm gonna vlog the trip and I wanna take tons of photos and I wanna look the best that I can because I am in desperate need to have some things done, like my hair for example. First step to my glow up, I already did that. It was a lash lift and tint at Caribbean Lash Loft. I didn't take you along with me in this video because I've already vlogged a whole dedicated video to a lash lift and I did all my before and after photos. I took you to the appointment with me. So I didn't think it was necessary to do it for this video. So I had it done about two days ago. And look at those lashes, guys. Those are some sky high lashes and what a horrible close up of my skin. Oh my gosh, I am struggling with my skin so much right now, you guys. So one new thing that Caribbean offers is an add on facial to your lash treatment. It doesn't add any extra time to your appointment, so it's so convenient. And I was like, sign me up. Anything that can help my skin right now, sign me up. So I'll play a little bit of audio here for you. You can see in this video, my skin is on the struggle bus. But what you're hearing is like a high frequency wand, I guess you would call it, and it you don't feel it. If anything, it feels kind of like static electricity. It's supposed to kill bacteria, it helps stimulate collagen in your skin, and you know, just helps with blood flow and get things moving and just rejuvenate your look overall. So yeah, that was the first step to my glow up. I had a lash lift and a little bit of a facial, and then right now I am just about to head out the door to have my hair done. I need my hair done so bad you guys so I did take a before photo but I will show you my hair now anyways because I find sometimes in video it's better than photos look at how yellow that is you guys it is so brassy it's not even blonde like this is yellow <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna cut it I'll definitely do a trim but I'm thinking I'm gonna grow my hair out what do you guys think? Should I keep it short or should I grow it out? Right after my hair appointment, I have a nail appointment. I'm gonna get some gel nails put on. Now I am a nail technician and I have all the equipment and all the products that I need to do my own nails. And I seriously just could not be bothered. My flight is approaching quickly and I'm starting to run out of time and I just couldn't be bothered. So I'm gonna have someone do a full set of gel nails on me today. And then I'll just keep up with the maintenance with my equipment and stuff at home. Let's just go to my hair appointment, okay? <laughs> my hair look at how blonde I am I love it I love it I needed this so badly it's so much fresher it's so much brighter and she did a perfect job my hair is still so healthy it's not damaged at all from the bleach and I love the way she styled it like I just I am so happy I love everything about it the makeup did not survive wearing a mask for two and a half hours as you can see the concealer is completely gone off of my pimples and stuff which is one thing I do notice is I have some flyaways which I get all the time when I have my hair done and my little beauty hack for flyaways is clear mascara mine's kind of grungy because I use it on my eyebrows and it gets like filled with makeup and stuff but what I do is I literally just like paint it on very gently and tame those flyaways away. This is so hard in the viewfinder, but you get the idea. It just flattens them out and tames the flyaways. I love that. So going to go get my nails done now, and I actually have 45 minutes until my appointment, so thank goodness I have some time to go grab a bite to eat because your girl is starving. So I'll grab something quick, probably not healthy, uh, but yeah, grab a bite to eat, and then let's go get my nails done.
Just got back from the nail salon and they didn't turn out as I had hoped. Um, I know I'm very particular and I have OCD tendencies, but being a certified nail technician myself, I mean, I haven't worked in the field in eons, but I am a certified nail technician, so I know what you should and shouldn't do. And I quickly realized why I always do my nails myself because I can get them to exactly how I want, basically. But, like, okay, nails should never be ski jumps. They should never point upward. This one is the worst one, if I can get it to focus. There we go, you can kind of see there how the nail is like pointing up. It should never do that. Also, when you are filing with the nail file, you're supposed to file straight with the finger. Never tip the nail file and file like this because you will get a ski jump look. So yeah, a lot of that was happening. Also, she made the nails so damn thick. They were like chiclets and I, I just had to say something. I was like, please, can you make these thinner? That is way too thick and they're still too thick. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be pulling out my nail file and just tweaking them, thinning them out and reshaping them and making them exactly how I would like. But hey, at least I'm not starting off from square one. At least I've got you know a good base to start with and go from there. I'll do that later, but for now, I think I'm going to wash my face because I'm feeling tired and greasy and gross and just gonna wash the makeup off or what's left anyways. Give myself a mask, try and treat some of these pimples. Like, oh my gosh, it is so swollen and I might tint my eyebrows. But first, new PJs. I just about forgot. Okay, so I got black joggers. I'm not gonna try those on right now. I wanna get in my PJs. So these are from Lacenza, and it is a two-piece satin or sateen pajama set. So we've got the black pants. Ooh, feels so comfy, cozy. And then the top to go along with it oh I'm gonna be so snuggly please ignore the mess behind me I've been really busy shopping planning outfits preparing for my trip so I've made a big mess but these PJs are really cute I actually really like them they look a little weird on camera because they're really staticky right now so they're like clinging to me in all the wrong places so I can't wait to actually like give them a nice fresh wash but they are really really cute I know it's hard to see because it's black but it's just a two-piece and the top isn't really long. I actually really like the length of the top. Oh, whatever, it's pajamas, who cares? The sleeves are quite long though. Um, and then I paired it with my comfy Ugg slippers. Okay, officially in the bathroom where it's really echoey and horrible lighting, so I apologize in advance. The first thing I'm gonna do is tint my eyebrows and I obviously have like makeup and eyebrow pencil and stuff on, so I'm gonna use the Bioderma Micellar Water to kind of clean up the area just a little bit. I don't really tint my eyebrows to make them darker per se, but because I am a natural blonde, the hairs have like a red tone to them, so I just try to like make them more brown than anything, not really to darken them up. Okay, so I use the Refecto Sil, such a weird name, uh, Refecto Sil Cream Hair Dye, light brown, 3.1 and then I mix it with the 3% volume and get it all activated and apply it to the eyebrows. I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, but what I do is I literally just put it into a shot glass and I only need the tiniest little bit. Put a few drops of the developer, mix it all together until you get like a nice paste. I do be careful on the skin because it will stain the skin. So I just try to keep it on the hairs as much as possible. Q-tips are a must for this because you want to get it off the skin where you do not want it. Because like I said, it will stain your skin. I try to work quickly because I don't want one eyebrow darker than the other and it develops pretty quickly, so. And wipe off the excess. And then you have to look crazy for a couple of minutes. I really don't leave it on long because I don't want like incredibly dark eyebrows. Okay, I was like cleaning up the area and stuff and I may have left it on a little longer than I had hoped. 
but I'm just gonna literally take toilet paper and just wipe it off. Ooh. Okay, not too bad. Nothing crazy had happened. I probably could have left it on a little bit longer, but meh. Now to remove all of my makeup and put on a mask. My battery died just then, but good timing because I would rather it die now than before my face is in the sink. <laughs> so I'm going to remove my makeup with the Bioderma Micellar Water. Um, did I say that right? Bioderma Micellar Water. That is a mouthful. This is actually something new that I have added to my skincare routine because I saw a dermatologist on Instagram. I'll show her here. I can't think of her name off the top of my head right now. She uses this my, my Micellar Water to remove her makeup. And because I am struggling with my skin so much right now, I just wanna be more gentle. I think I'm overdoing it. I think I'm stripping my skin. So I normally, and I have been for years, removing my makeup with the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. These remove your makeup so good. But I noticed after using them for years, mind you, I noticed that my skin was starting to sting a little bit. So not sure what's going on there, but I thought I would switch it up. I've used this uh, micellar water a couple times now and I'm really liking it. It feels so gentle, but don't be fooled. Not all micellar water is equal. And I'll put the real, I'll link it down below because the dermatologist did a comparison with two different micellar waters and this one she approves of and this one works the best. So of course, that's the one that I got. It just feels so soothing and as you can see, my skin is absolutely insane right now. I've seen a dermatologist. I went and saw Dr. Taher at Lucier Dermatology. So I do have a prescription topical ointment that I can start incorporating. And then he did also prescribe me some oral medication that I am quite hesitant to take because it's almost like a hormone blocker. Basically what he told me is at my age, I have adult acne and it's hormone related and I have literally tried everything under the sun and so I'm at kind of at like the last resort and so I'm a little hesitant taking the medication that he prescribed. I did pick it up and I have it but I thought I would try probiotics first. So I am taking these probiotics. If you follow me on Instagram, I did talk about this on my Insta stories because I found another doctor on TikTok actually who talks about clearing your skin and dandruff and fixing you know, problems like hair loss and stuff like that with probiotics. I'm not gonna go all into it right now. I'll link it down below. She recommends three specific bacterial strains to help with acne dandruff, hair loss, that kind of stuff. So I found this specific brand with all three strains. I'm not gonna notice results for a while. So I'm gonna just give this a try before I take the actual medication that Dr. Taher gave me. If you guys are struggling with acne or anything, put down in the comments what you have done to help your acne, what has worked for you, because I'm very curious and I know lots of people struggle with acne, so. Let's kind of start an acne fighting community down in the comments. <laughs> I would love to know your tips and tricks. So doctor, the dermatologist, Dr. Shireen Idris, she also has a YouTube channel and I totally got sucked into all of her videos. I have learned so much. I highly recommend you check her out. She talks about everything from hyaluronic acid to makeup to vitamin C and serums and I'm just loving her content. She did a nighttime skincare routine and she washed her face with Vanny Cream. It's a gentle facial cleanser and I already am kind of using a gentle cleanser. I've been using the CeraVe, which is known for being gentle, but this is the salicylic acid cleaner, which is great for acne. It does say that it's gentle enough to use daily, but I think I just need to take it back a notch, slow it down, take it a little more easy on my skin. I'm actually not a big fan of the name of this, Vanny Cream. It kind of sounds like something that you'd use to wash your lady parts, <laughs> um, but it is super gentle and it doesn't strip your skin and I have been enjoying this. So I'm gonna use this to wash my face right now. I am not used to having nails. Oh my gosh, I have to be careful I don't poke myself in the eye or something. 
She does also recommend double cleansing, using the micellar water as the first cleanse and then using a face wash is the second cleanse. And I definitely agree. I just love washing my makeup off after a long day. It's like honestly one of my favorite things to do. If Nick and I ever went on like a trivia show, like a couple's trivia show and they asked Nick, what is your wife's favorite thing to do? He would say, washing her face. <laughs> I love washing my face. My eyebrows didn't turn out too dark, but my gosh, my skin is insane. So now I'm actually going to give myself a mask. So the one that I've been using is the Alaya Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask. This mask is so good. So if you are in Canada like me, it is available at Shoppers Drug Mart now. I just painted on with this tiny little brush. I actually got this brush from Glam Glow. They also make very, very good masks, but I learned that Glam Glow tests on animals. They are not cruelty free. So I will not be purchasing their brand. I partnered with Elias Skin and did a giveaway with them on Instagram a long time ago. And that's kind of how I discovered them. And the first time I tried their mask, I was like, wow, okay. This is being added to my arsenal of skincare. So good. So I do tend to like make it a little bit thicker in my T-zone where I'm super oily. But overall, I do a pretty thin layer. And as it dries, you will see the oil coming out of your pores. It definitely does not make my skin feel thirsty after, which is good. Um, and then after, I'm going to apply the Aveeno Calm and Restore. This is something also new to my arsenal of skincare. Recommendations of Dr. Shireen. Another thing that I have added to my skincare routine is the Mighty Patch. There are different brands and there's tons to choose from on the market. I've tried a couple different kinds and I always go back to the Mighty Patch. These are my favorite. They don't come off your face in the middle of the night. They're really thick, so they absorb a lot of gunk from your pimples. Um, but that's exactly what it is. It's a hydrocolloid patch. They just look like this, little tiny circles. And you peel it off and you stick it on your pimples and it sucks the gunk out overnight. It is amazing. So if you have like a really swollen, red inflamed pimple, this will flatten it out overnight because it sucks all the fluids out and it's just amazing. I highly, highly recommend these. Okay, so I've had the mask on for about five to 10 minutes and it is just about dry. I think I'm gonna wash it off here right away. But I wanted to show you, I cannot believe I'm zooming in on my face right now. You can see all the oil being sucked out of all the pores. So this is a great mask for, hello. <laughs> it's a great mask for when you wanna get some excess oil out of your pores. Good morning everybody. It is 7.30 a.m. and I am enjoying a nice hot cup of coffee. Do I want to be showing you my face right now? Absolutely not. <laughs> but I definitely want to show you all the gross, disgusting gunk that this Mighty Patch sucked out of my pimple last night. So I apologize in advance for the very horrible, ugly, close-up view of my face. But you can see right there that white circle is all the fluid that it sucked out. And then the one on my forehead, you can see it's not as intense. So obviously that pimple doesn't have as much fluid as this one. This one is just like out of control. I absolutely love it. It makes your pimples flatter because it sucks all the inflammatory fluids out. So then your pimples can actually heal faster. It also prevents you from touching and picking too. So that's another benefit. Because this one has so much fluid, I know there's more that can come out. So if I wasn't going to be wearing makeup today or filming or anything, I definitely would do my morning skincare routine and then slap another patch on. If I were to, you know, make a quick trip to the grocery store or something, we're all wearing masks these days anyways, so it can easily hide under the mask. So if you have that option, you could do that too. But I definitely recommend the Mighty Patch. I've tried a couple different brands and this one is my favorite because you sleep with it on your face. All the other patches, sometimes you wake up and you're like, where did the patch go? And it's like never to be found again. 
but these stay in place and they're thicker so I find they suck more fluid out there I just I really like this brand the plan of action today is to have my nails redone I'm going to pull out my electric file this morning reshape them make them a bit thinner and just correct them a little bit I do have plans to go back there today because obviously I'm going to be filing all the color coat and everything off so she's going to redo the color after I fix the shape and everything am I being really particular yes I am aware of it but I think it's important to be happy with things that you pay for and there's no need to be rude there's no need to be mean to the service provider but I think constructive criticism is important because if they think that they're doing an amazing job every time and they think that all their clients are so happy with their work how would how would they know and so I just politely told her like I'm never rude I'm not gonna be like oh my god my nails are so horrible this is awful fix it right now like I would never do that so when she asked me how do you like your nails I'm like mm, well they are a little thick and I'm not too happy with the shape and you know just be honest when I was younger I always would bite my tongue I would never say a word and then I would go about my day for the rest of the two weeks or however long you have any service done and you're just you're not happy so why not speak your piece get it corrected so that you can be happy and then they can be happy that you're happy anyways I'm not gonna go on about it forever but that is the plan of action today is to get my nails corrected put on a new outfit and finish my glow up trying to get my camera to focus I got them all reshaped thinned out so they're nice and feminine looking and they look so much better this nail I actually took off entirely because it was literally flying up to the moon and it looked so weird so I will go back to the nail tech now we'll put a whole new nail on here we'll do the color coat on all the nails and get that finished up it looks so much better all right got my nails done I showered did my hair and makeup put on my new outfit which I'll show you in a minute but first my new lipstick so this is the Mac powder kiss lipstick in the shade 304 sultriness and it is this really nice pink nude color. It's actually really close to my natural lip color, but let's put some of this on. So it's more of a matte finish. Oh, mm, it smells so good. So yeah, really like this color. It just helps mattify my lips, um, but it doesn't feel dry. Like I know a lot of matte lipsticks it like sucks the life out of your lips but this still feels moist I can you know move it around and I really like this color and this is my outfit of the day to complete my makeover glow up this dress is from dynamite you may have seen it on the dynamite shopping haul that I recently posted I belted it at the waist to you know keep that feminine hourglass figure and sheer black tights because it is winter after all and some really comfortable chunky block heels these are actually from catch shoes which is a Canadian shoe company based in Vancouver which which is where I am headed. I am so excited for my trip. I just feel like I look fresher. I'm definitely ready for my vacation and I hope this video inspired you guys to give yourself a makeover or some self-care because if you feel good you look good and if you look good you feel good too. So I am so excited for my trip. I definitely have to start packing which will be my next YouTube video and then of course I'm going to be vlogging my trip to Vancouver as well. So if you haven't yet already please subscribe to my channel to Stay tuned for my upcoming videos and thank you so much for watching this one and I will see you guys in my next video. 